My name is Kaylee Higgs, also known as DIY Mum on Instagram, and welcome to my first ever YouTube video. I'm nervous. Be kind. who follows me on Instagram will know that I like to upcycle furniture, I like to hand make furniture and jump off furniture, I like to jump off furniture. But what I do do quite a lot of, I do a lot of Calyx upcycles. These are the IKEA Calyx boxes that comes in all sizes and I like to upcycle them. I think I've done about five, all different styles. This one is gonna be a breakfast bar. So I'm gonna take you along the process and show you each step and how I do it. Hopefully it'll go to plan because I've never done one of these before. So this is a two by four IKEA Calyx unit. The first thing that we need to do, and we need to do this for any upcycle, is to wash down with sugar soap. So I'm just diluting this sugar soap and then I will wash the whole unit down with it. Is why we clean before we sand because if we sand without cleaning then all that grime is going to go into the unit I normally wouldn't do this and I haven't done this on the previous Calyx units because they haven't been in this bad condition so I've taken this part off uh, which has exposed the, the chipboard which is pretty much what these are made of. We use some Ron Seal wood filler just to kind of flatten them out and, and smooth them out. We'll sand it down and then hopefully it will have the same finish as the rest of the unit. It might not even work. I might have to go and get another unit but it's trial and error. Might as well, might as well try. After all the sanding is done, I need to give it a quick wash down again with sugar soap. Sanded the whole unit down with 120, so the whole of the units, um, and then I've sugar soaped it again just to get all that excess dust and grit off. Grit? Dust and grime. We'll go grime. I brought it inside because it, I find it easier to paint inside this time of year because obviously it has to be a certain temperature to dry. I don't normally do this because I use Frenchique paint which has got a, a primer already inbuilt into it so there's actually no priming needed and I don't normally prime but I've taken some of this back to the bare MDF. I'm actually going to just help it a little bit and use some of this primer just to give it an extra bit of support. It is the next day and I have done the painting on the Calyx unit. It needs one more coat, but I'm not gonna do that until I have attached the palette wood on there, um, just in case I, I scuff it. Um, the next stage for me is to get some scaffold boards and glue them together. And this is gonna be the top part of the breakfast bar. What I need to do first, I need to take off the bands that are originally on the scaffold boards because otherwise they won't go together properly and they won't be able to glue. This job isn't a nice job, I must admit. It, it, it can be quite dangerous, so um, I'll take you along the process. But it's a process I don't like. But anyway, come come with me. If my garage was organised, I'll be able to um, do this quicker. <sighs> So that's one off. I've got about five, six more to do. Honestly, just be careful. These are so sharp and can ugh, cut you to pieces. So I have all the scaffolds that have had the bands taken off them. So they are ready to go and ready to be stuck together. There's a couple of things I'm gonna do first before I do that. I'm gonna sand down just with an 80 grit. Just the sides that are gonna be glued together just to kind of give it a bit more of a smooth because obviously the, you know you can get some it's coming off and it just be easier just to, just to smooth it down so that's what I'm going to do I'm going to smooth it down with an 80 grit I'm going to replace it on my worktop now I don't have a great surface area to put these together I haven't really got a level level area in my house so it is quite difficult I find it difficult to pick the best ones that aren't warped and look good and then I'm going to put them together and I'm going to make sure that the grains 
are alternated so that it will stop any cuffing happen. I'm gonna put three boards together for this breakfast table. So I have my three boards that I'm gonna use and I'm gonna to glue together. There's a couple of ways that you can actually do putting together. So you can either use dowels, biscuit joints, or I personally just use glue and then clamp it. And then if it's like a big table, I put steel C bars underneath or U bar, C bar. I've been told by someone that the actual, for biscuit joints and dowels don't actually make it any stronger. It's just more for alignment. Okay, so the next stage for me is to measure out the length that I want the breakfast bar. The calyx unit, oh, goodbye. The calyx unit is 147 centimeters long and I want it to kind of have a slight overhang. So what I've done, I've measured it out of 152 centimeters, which will give it 2.5 centimeters each, each way. I'm gonna make a lot of noise and get my circular saw out and cut the line that is needed to be cut. That's the length cut down for the breakfast bar. Next stage to sand, sawdust on me, um, story of my life. Firstly, I'm gonna sand it down with a 40 grit because these are reclaimed scaffolds and they need, it. there's a lot of dust, grit, a lot of stuff on there. So I'm gonna get quite a coarse sandpaper, a 40 grit and sand it down with that first. Then I'm going to fill in the gaps where I have put the, two, the three boards together, I'm just gonna fill that in with a wood filler and let that dry. After that's dried, I'm then gonna work my way up to 120 grit. I've started with a 40, I'll probably go to an 80 and then work my way up to a 120 grit to finish off the table. The next step for me is to make the drawers that are gonna sit just underneath. So the actual table top, the breakfast table, is gonna um, sit on top of the drawers. So I'm gonna measure and cut to size what I need um, and then get on with the process of uh, attaching them to the cabinet. Snap my pencil in half. <laughs> so strong. So I have measured 147 centimetres and cut to size. Um, now I'm not going to have a drawer this wide because um, it just wouldn't look good. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to cut uh, this, this scaffold board in half and that will give me the, the height that I want for my drawer. I've cut down all the sizes for the drawers. One long length, 147 that runs along the back of the calyx. And I've got three scaffold boards, two for the sides, and then one for the middle, which is gonna be partitioned the two drawers off. Next step is to sand these down, and then I'll get them ready to be attached to the calyx. I've decided before I attach the drawers onto the calyx, I'm actually gonna attach them together. So I'm gonna attach the sides to, to the long piece using glue and wood screws, and then I will attach it to the calyx unit. I'm going to attach this two ways. I'm going to use dowels, also screws as well, so it's going to be secured that way. Um, I may even put internally some brackets as well, just for extra security. So I put the dowels in the side ones just to align it really, and, and glued it to place. I glued. The, the actual base of it together. Now, my original plan, I was gonna go up from underneath with screws. The units are made, but they're pretty much hollow. They're not the greatest, so if you, if you go through it far enough, it, will, it, will, it won't really catch onto it. What I've done, I've gone through a pilot hole and then a very, very long screw through the wood, which has then gone through to the calyx unit, but not far enough for it to be hollow. So far enough for it to catch onto it and, and this is literally 
it, it's not going anywhere that is that's on there now I'm going to fill around the gaps and where the screws are and wait for that to dry then I'll sand it and wax that part then I need to do the drawers so next up is making the drawers there's loads of ways you can make these drawers um, the way I'm making them I'm going to use scaffold boards again the front of the drawers are going to be scaffold boards the side of them are going to be scaffold boards and then the bottom and the back are gonna, I'm going to make out of plywood I just need to take some measurements and cut some stuff to size and then uh, start the process of making them scaffold boards for the drawers being cut out check the sizes as well against the against the drawers and they all fit next thing to do with this is I'm gonna sand it first before I actually make them just so that I can get smooth uh, smooth edges so I will start the sanding at 40 again work into 80 to work into 120 grit some of these are very very fresh reclaimed so um they need a lot they need a lot, a lot, a lot of TLC I'm out of masks and I haven't got time to go get any, so this will have to do for now to save me. So I've cut and sanded the scaffold boards for the drawers. I've got the two sides and then the front, which will be the front, front of the drawer. Um, I'm going to put plywood for the bottom and the back. I'm going to router out a part of the scaffold boards and then that will, the, the plywood will slot into there and and I'll probably glue it as well, but that just kind of uh, neatens it up a little bit. Measured out where I want to router. I've gone obviously the same distance from each scaffold board so that it obviously is level. Clamped it down, um, and now I'm just gonna try my best to stay in a straight line. I can't route in a straight line, but it fits, and it's not that bad, so. I have finished the drawers, the sanding, everything is basically ready to, to be oiled. I am using Osmo Oil and I'm using the shade Honey. This is to match the worktops of the, the, the kitchen it's going in. So I'm gonna apply this with a brush, let it dry and soak in and then I'll give it another, another coat. I'm hoping this is gonna be the last day of making the breakfast bar. I reckon I'll be able to get it all done and get it out there. I need to put the pallet wood around the bottom for like the bottom trim just to kind of tidy it up a little bit and match it. This is probably a stage I should have done quite a while back but I've been avoiding it just because it's really hard to cut the pallet wood into thin strips um, because my table saw is at someone else's house and yeah so I've been avoiding this probably should be doing this at the same time as, as the rest of all the woodwork. I'm gonna sand the pallet wood down, make it smooth, and I'm gonna cut it to size and then stick it on and then uh, put a bit of Osmo oil on it. That actually didn't take as long as I thought. It wasn't as bad as I thought. Uh, so I should have done that quite a long time ago. Anyway, um, these are the pieces that are gonna be at the bottom. They're all sanded down, ready to be glued and screwed on to the bottom of the calyx. And then I will Osmo oil them again. Put the surround on the bottom of the calyx and I've oiled it in the same um, colour honey from Osmo Oil. The last thing I really need to do is to give the calyx unit one more paint. I'll go over with uh, the, the same Frenchy Salt of Earth uh, colour and then after that I can actually start assembling the top and the drawers properly. That's the painting done. Boom. This is a lazy range. I can let this dry for a couple of hours and then I can apply a clear wax which will give it extra protection um, on the paint. I need to put some handles on the two drawers. So I'll do that now and then I will then assemble the, the top onto the, onto the actual canvas unit. It's time to assemble the breakfast bar top onto the breakfast bar, onto the calyx. Anyway, 
it's time for the final reveal, basically. The final reveal. Um, I will be... There's lots of ways you can, you can do this, but I have to take this top off to get it up the stairs of um, the, my friend uh, Flack, who, who this is for. I'm actually going to be screwing in from, from the top into where the drawers are and then I can take it off easy and then afterwards I will see if it needs to be filled and go over once it's in the flat. So firstly I made sure that there was 2.5 centimetres which I left on the length of the breakfast bar each side on the overhang and then I've gone for a centimetre overhang on the drawer side. So I'm about to show you the final result of all the hard work that I have put in over the last two, three, four days. Um, so I will show that right now. Is it my first YouTube video done? Ticked, ticked off the bucket list. I'm well aware that I may have missed some any technical ways or any steps um, that weren't very thorough. So any any questions you need um, answering, just leave them in the comments below. Any suggestions for me to work on on these videos, like anything that you want more of? Um, again, leave in the comments below, and I will do better next time. But I hope you enjoyed it. Uh, and uh, yeah, subscribe, like, follow me on Instagram.